Well, on the, se on the 12th of June, Fabrizio Romano came out and obviously told us the following. A story that I went ahead to upload on this channel and you guys went ahead to watch it hugely. It came in through from Fabrizio Romano and it was all about uh, Ryan Makedo. He told us that exclusive Arsenal made proposal and they are currently leading the rest to sign Ryan Makedo, 2008 born, talented forward. He's expected to leave Chelsea this summer. Best project proposal so far came from Arsenal. Makedo played for England under 16 and under 17 this season. You remember me doing this story? And Arsenal was leading the rest, obviously, go ahead and obviously sign the lad. But guess what? It has gone ahead to fall through and the deal has gone ahead to be hijacked. And they've failed to miss to really get in the next Bokayo Saka. He's being referred to as the next Bokayo Saka. Saginho Dest is now a player of a side called PSG. If at all you really understand that very well, he's really a player to play for the side of PSG. Then we are having uh, Coutinho has also gonna hit obviously find a new club where he's gonna be playing at and I'm gonna be breaking those stories down in here for you. Welcome to the Rokani Media Football. It's the football news. Much like button, comment and share. If you're only watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. And we thank God for the gift of life. <clears throat> and obviously, let's get into the story that Fabrizio Roman has just gonna hit to drop like two hours back for us not missing out onto this guy. And guess what? He has gone to your nemesis who go by the names of Manchester City. It's an exclusive story. It's an exclusive story telling us that Marked, Ryan Makedo leaves Chelsea and he said to join Man City. Here we go. 2008 born forward decides to join Man City. Deal hijacked after proposals from other Premier League top clubs. Deal in place and huge talent for Man City. <coughs> academy now this is what arsenal has to fight you know and i've always told you that the problem as to why arsenal is going to miss out on these talents is ateta failing to create what we call a direct path from the academy to what we call the first team if arsenal doesn't if arsenal doesn't solve that they are not gonna win races to really get in these youngsters when you look at man city they have in players like rico lewis from the academy phil forden is from the academy you can look at uh uh carl palmer was from the academy though he crossed to man city then look at uh bob he's also from the academy and he's really doing great and there is another one is called porter there is also they also have lewis so if such is happening in your team and players see what we call a direct path from from the academy to the first team i tell you what you can easily convince them to join your club because man city will sit down mark Hayden and told him please you want to go to arsenal but ask yourself ever since ateta came in through how many youngsters has he gonna hit obviously get into the first team and the answer will be zero because when you look at uh Nwaneri, everyone believes that Nwaneri is ready but has arsenal done enough they'll give them stories that look at um Koza Dobri, you know, he has just gone ahead to leave. He's one of the most talented players that that Arsenal tal that Arsenal Academy was really relying on and counting on, but he went ahead obviously leave, meaning that there is huge uncertainty in there for you. And them playing for the under 17, 16 for for the side of England, they have to talk to one another. And he'll obviously have to contact Koza Dobri and ask him what has gone ahead to leave the side of Chelsea. Sorry, to leave the side of Arsenal and we'll be like there is no direct pathway to the first team and i think not until arsenal really resolves that very many top young talents are really gonna pass through their hands you remember hutchinson is also one of those players that left the club of arsenal and the reason was ateta wouldn't convince him that he can get into the first team of arsenal so that is one of the things that arsenal should really resolve as soon as possible you know other teams will come in through and obviously edge arsenal onto such deals because they've gone ahead to create what we call a direct path of young stars from the academy to the first team i support manchester united you all know that but you note it that ever since ever since eric ten came in through <coughs> he has brought in ganacho in the first team straight from the academy he brought in um kobe Mainu 
there is Kambwala, there is Dan Go, Foson Omari, and very many others. Whitley in the first team, and they've gone ahead obviously play games in there for you, and others have gone ahead obviously become starters into the team of Manchester United. So Arsenal has to gate that competitive edge because it's one of the things that Man City went ahead to use to obviously convince this youngster that very soon you'll get into the team of Man City. If at all you prove that you are that good, look at Phil Foden, look at Oscar Bob, Rico Lewis, you understand? Ohol will move on as planned. So, as it stands, it's really something great to note that Arsenal's gonna hit to miss out on this young talent. And they've just gonna hit to sign, is it Nagard, a goalkeeper who really came in through and had trials into the mix? But this one has gonna hit to fail. And it's not really happening. Man City have gonna hit obviously age Arsenal again. And as Arsenal is aging Man City in the already finished articles, uh, transfers for players, Man City is really aging Arsenal when it comes to the youngsters that they're really signing. So that is it coming in through from Fabrizio Romano confirmed that it's obviously over and over and over and over for Makedo to Arsenal. A deal has gone ahead to obviously be hijacked by the side of Man City and Pep Guardiola has aged Mikel Teta this time round. It's a very big miss for the club of Arsenal and I know the board will have to obviously sit down and really get in what we call the best resolutions ever. Now let's leave Makedo there and obviously let's have a look at another story. You know Sergio Dest was at Barcelona and finally Sergio Dest joins PSV and Heaven on a permanent deal from Barcelona. Contract valid until June 2028 for Sagino Dest, who is staying at PSV. Trusting him even after the injury. Baka will receive no fixed fee. Barcelona clause has been included. That is it through coming in through from the side of Barcelona. And no fixed fee, but all what is going to have to be included is what you call a solemn clause for all they sell him. Now, so you know, Dest came to fame when Eric Ten Hag was the manager of Manchester United. You will remember. And when he came to fame, he was, sorry, manager of Ajax. And ever since he joined Ajax, he was really doing great. But when he crossed from that side to go to Barcelona, he has gone ahead to get loans to the sides of AC Milan and now in uh, PSV. So, he has been really playing that side and I think it has been really a lot for him and he needs to obviously go home and really re refine his boots because he has not gonna have to stamp his authority in all the teams he has gonna have to play for and maybe his luck is at a PSV and he will really do the need for and obviously regain his positions back as soon as possible and um, when you look at Sergio Dest He's an American that plays as a right back and is playing into the Copa uh, America. 23 years of age and I think Barcelona have gone ahead to do a very, very wide business because if he gets himself back to where we know he's supposed to be the levels, he can really be sold for like 30 million euros in the next three years because he'll be 26 years of age and he can obviously command a very huge price into the market provided he hits the ground running as soon as possible. So, Sagino Dest to you. PSV, here we go. Then after Sergio Dest, let's talk about Felipe Coutinho. Felipe Coutinho is also aging close to leaving and go to the side of Vasco da Gama. Felipe Coutinho has agreed on terms to return to Vasco da Gama. The contract is already is almost ready. Final detail needed. Contract termination with Aston Villa, as Geglobe reported. Villa are prepared to give Coutinho the green light obviously this guy ha was one of those that really looked good when he was playing for the side of liverpool Coutinho put in some huge performances that everyone was like he should be here but his uncalculated move to the side of barcelona caused him may him to reach where he is because i don't think that it was high time for him to leave liverpool he had to play for Liverpool for like two seasons and then find himself another team. But I think the money that Barcelona had to offer him, do you know what? It means to offer you £400,000 a week, you know? So the player was like, let me go to the side of Barcelona. But right now, 
He's returning back to Brazil, a team that really saw him become the star. He is that is Vasco da Gama. So guys, I call upon for your reactions into the comment section below about Ryan Makedo transfer hijacked. What do you think about it? What did Arsenal do wrong? Then what do you make about uh, Philippe Coutinho contract termination? And then let's talk about the guy himself called Sergio Dest to PSV. A here we go pronounced by Fabrizio Romano. We sign out for now. See you later. First video of the demo is yet to come. Switzerland is leading Italy by two goals to nil and 40 minutes to play. I think this game is barred unless otherwise a miracle is produced but i believe switzerland captained by grant jacques will obviously continue to even add one more goal because italy doesn't look like they're gonna even score a goal they need a moment of brilliance and they need magic to see to it that all goes on as planned so that is it euros round of 16 denmark coming in through with germany and it is really one of those moments that you'll obviously want to get. Oh, it has been me. Deflection. And the goalkeeper had gone ahead to miss it. Soma. So, anything can happen. But I believe Switzerland is still the favorites. But the game is done. We'll let you know what the results have gone ahead to be. Bye-bye.